Hey, snowboarders, uh, snowboarder, heli snowboarders, CMH hel heli snowboarders. Uh, this is my video on the tips uh, to make your trip a little bit easier and a lot more fun and your friends will enjoy riding with you more your skier friends will so stay tuned here's my tips cmh uh, tip video for snowboarders uh, my name's danny i'm not with cmh i'm just a, a, a cmh customer uh, guest that i love cmh i love going with cmh this is not a cmh video this is my own personal video to you the snowboarder to kind of give you some tips that i think are important that i've learned over the years and i just you know i i i just want to just bundle them all in one video for you okay so the first thing is snowboarders nobody wants to go with them no skiers want to go with snowboarders because they're slower. They don't have poles. They have trouble getting up the terrain. We actually rely on skiers to break trail for us and they help us not because sometimes they want to, it's just because we're so slow. They got to help us otherwise they're going to they're going to miss uh some skiing, right? So we got to do what we can to keep the speed up, okay? What happens is, what I've seen time and time again, is you get snowboarders and they redline. Their heart rate gets up and stuff because they got to take unbind, they got to walk up hills, and you can't just walk up on packed snow. I mean, this is powder, so you're fence posting the whole time. It's a very, very uh, slow, uh, heart intensive process where you're post hauling up hills. So you try to avoid red line. If you're at the red line and you, and you kind of get up and clip in, just wait for about 10 seconds or something, catch your breath, because what's going to happen is you let yourself get too worked up and then you're going to go you're going to go crash again and then it's just going to be this death spiral. It's terrible. So um, you look ahead. If skiers start to sidestep ahead, you know, you're going to be working pretty hard because there's no, there's no getting out of that. If skiers start to, um, you know, pull ahead a little bit, you know, you better keep your speed up and, you know, see if you can't get over the hill. Uh, talk to skiers and have them step on, and have them be on the other side of that hill. Don't have them stop on the run out. You know, just talk to your skiers ahead of time. Say, hey, can you get on the other side of that hill first? You know, before you stop, don't stop in the middle because that, that can, can really burn you. Um, the other thing that I found is, um, you know, that happens sometimes to people is if, if you kind of let things go and you're slow, you're gonna get in the leper copter <laughs> and so what the leper copter is nobody wants to ski with you nobody wants to be have you in their place because you're so slow so cmh sometimes will organize a separate slow person leper copter where you don't get as many vertical feet of course your friends are going to be, your skiing friends are going to be in the other copter. You won't be riding with them. You're going to be riding up with the lepers. Okay, so I've told you kind of how to avoid that. But now I'm going to give you one last secret that I've learned the last time. I got ski poles, collapsible ones. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit about these collapsible ski pole, poles so you can ski with your friends. They won't be upset about skiing with you and you'll avoid the leper copter. Okay, I got these on Amazon. Um, they're Burton um, Black Diamond um, Collapsible Poles. And they'll actually fit inside the uh, CMH backpacks. So, uh, CMH gives a, a guest a, a backpack and so if you want to and you don't want to carry these um, I've got there there are two poles in this thing, but I'm just showing you one so if you don't want to carry these they will fit in the guest backpack however I have been just carrying them for quick deployment because you never know what's coming out we're gonna look at um, pole deployment right and so there's a tube 
here you kind of see the tube here and so you just lay the pole out and then you uh, just pull on this tube and it causes the pole to straighten up and this little snap to, 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 to snap in place and then you can set the length with this thing and just snap it down and then you got yourself a pole so you see it's got kind of a half basket but these things end up you know doing pretty well in the snow um, they do screw off so you got to make sure that they're screwed on tight um, and then you need to practice with your gloves on um, folding these things up very quickly now a lot of times um, I didn't have time to fold them up after I'm finished because I gotta you know keep up with everybody so I might just choose to hold both poles in my hands so you can see here that I've um, you make the poles together they, they uh, kind of stick together um, they're secured fairly well by the baskets uh, on each side so then what you end up doing is you end up riding with these poles in your hand um, and they, 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 they stick together pretty well just with your hands but um, what you may want to do is get one of these velcro straps here that um, when you so, so you want them I think you want them to ski with them in your hands because uh, number one um, you want to have them easily ready to deploy uh, very quickly because you never know what's going to happen when you're going to need to deploy them and you don't I like this strap because it um, you do need to spend a little more time taking on the strap but you may want to use this strap because it's just going to be easier to hang on and if you crash they could possibly get separated and lost which that ha didn't happen to me I'm pretty good about holding on to them and then so you just take this strap off you know put it in your pocket you get it really quick put it in your pocket and then you can um, then you can just deploy deploy the pole easily right uh, one of the problems is um, when you get these poles, when they're, these poles are free, um, they can um, they can kind of get uh, be an obstacle to getting caught in the rotor. So, what you need to do uh, is uh, they seem to want you to put a strap around these. So when you're at CMH, just have them give you a strap like this, and then. Uh, you can wrap your poles, you kind of put your poles together and then you put this strap around them so that this thing can easily be, you know, shuffled around and put in the basket. So uh, that's probably one thing that you need to do. And practice putting this strap on maybe about 10 times so when you're, when you're at the helicopter you're not going to have a problem with it. 